Honda CRF 450RL. Best beginner motorcycle. Single cylinder canted forward 10 degrees. This 2021 Honda CRF 450RL review is a bit different from our usual new motorcycle reviews. It requires a bit of background, so stick with us for a few minutes or just skip over five paragraphs, and we'll get right to the writing. The marketing of Honda's flagship dual sport bike, introduced in 2018, has been a tough one. Originally named the CRF 450L, the off-road focused motorcycle fit into a difficult niche for doctrinaire off-roaders to understand. For the uninitiated, the seriously dirt-ready CRF 450L model name put it in the same category as the beginner-friendly CRF 250L. To separate the 450 from the 250, the big bike gets a new name this year, the 2021 Honda CRF 450RL. Well, Honda tried, but the new name perpetuates another marketing challenge. The knock against the CRF 450L was that it was not ready to race, as KTM promotes its dual sport bikes, well, okay, all KTMs get that tagline. Regardless, hardcore off-road dual sport purists felt that the Honda CRF 450L was not as close to the CRF 450RX off-road race bike as the KTM 500 EXEF is to its 450 XCF racer. While the purists were correct, it didn't mean the Honda CRF 450L was bad and the KTM 500 EXEF was good. The reality is that they represent two approaches to dual sport riding, with the KTM designed for someone who wants racing performance with street legal accoutrements. With KTM slash Husqvarna staking out the best off-road performer position, along with the comparable Beta RRS lineup, Honda did something a little bit different. The reality is that the 2021 Honda CRF 450RL, like the L before it, is more closely based on the Honda CRF 450X high-performance off-road trail bike, not the RX racer. Honda went for durability, comfort, and ease of use over absolute performance. The CRF 450RL is a dual sport motorcycle that is still very much like the CRF 450X, a satisfying motorcycle for the serious trail rider, though not someone who intends to ride at race pace with it in stock or near stock trim. When the 2018 Honda CRF 450L debuted, I asked Honda representatives why they used a name that would conflate it with the differently focused CRF 250L. I never got an answer, just shrugs. It took three years, but someone with pull agreed with me and updated the name. However, I think CRF 450RL still gets the name wrong. The L is much closer to the CRF 450X, not the R or RX models, and the name should reflect that. This bike should be called the 2021 Honda CRF 450XL. Not only would it have a model name that fits in better with the rest of the CRF 450 line, but it also would have tipped a cap to the legendary Honda XL Dual Sport motorcycles of the 1970s and 80s, starting with the truly iconic 1972 Honda XL 250 Motorsport. Although that's a missed opportunity, it's not going to stop me from enjoying the 2021 Honda CRF 450RL as a dual sport motorcycle with a precise niche. So, let's go riding, and I'll stop complaining about model names, I promise. In addition to the new name, the 2021 Honda CRF 450RL does get a functional update this year, handguards are now stock. Oh, and the price dropped $400, nice. While these two changes typically aren't enough for a new bike review, we remembered that we had never tested the CRF 450L in fully stock condition. Previously, we went with more dirt-oriented tires. This time, the CRF 450RL is in showroom trim, right down to the IRC GP tires, the same tires used on the CRF 250R, amusingly enough. The 2021 Honda CRF 450RL retains its crown as a civilized off-road focused dual sport motorcycle. That's not to say that it isn't aggressive, because it is. The Unicam Thumper has a snappy throttle response that is wholly satisfying, whether you're on a dirt road or fast single track. The motor pulls good from about 3,000 to 10,000 RPM, with the sweet spot right in the middle. There's tons of over-rev, which can save you from shifting when it's not convenient to do so. The power band is as sweet as it gets for a dual-sport motorcycle, and Honda built in enough throttle response to satisfy the sole and lift the front wheel on the trail, as needed. All is not perfect with the CRF 450 RL motor, however. It has an unnerving tendency to stall off idle when riding the most technical trails, despite putting out good low RPM power. With the bike weighing in at nearly 300 pounds with the two-gallon tank filled and sporting a seat height over 37 inches, things can get awkward quickly, 
unless you're safely over six feet tall. It's a problem that reared its head multiple times and resulted in a broken brake lever far from home. On the upside, the notch in the lever left enough of a nub to safely ride the motorcycle at a reduced pace.